Hive Gaming. Battling at it. Let's see what happens. Who's going to end up winning in the end? Obviously, both players being amazing players, PGR level players, and um, right here at Aeon. And it's amazing, honestly, just to be able to see players of this caliber to play every week right in our hometown. It's truly something that some players take for granted and some players definitely appreciate. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is Zapros on the mic. What's going on, guys? I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. I had a slice of pizza, so I'm feeling good. I hope you all had a slice of pizza and are feeling just as good as I am. Not to mention, I'm actually leaned all the way back in this chair right now. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and see Vinny and Mr. E, Lucina versus Sheik, a matchup that we see right around this area in every bracket every week because they're such great players. They're consistent players. They often don't lose to many other players below them because, honestly, like the gap is pretty huge other than the ones that are up and coming. So we're obviously going to see a great set from both of these players. Like we're just going to reset. Obviously, we're going to choose a stage real quick. Most likely going to gentle this to Smashville. As it's a really good stage for both of them. Uh, anything else is interesting, which is very interesting because it was something else. It was Three, town and city. Two, so we're going to go ahead and see both players go. go ahead and start off the set. All right. Great shield grab from Vinny. Goes ahead and gets in. Gets the first 25%. Oh, gets out of it. With both players not quite being able to find a hold of the other one. He's playing the neutral, trying to hold on to the stage control. Unfortunately, Vinny gets in right on Mr. E. Vinny's gonna go ahead and hold on to this edge, just as we see him do in almost all of his other sets. He's trying to make sure that he holds on to the stage control. Jumps right around and can go ahead and knock Mr. E right back off stage. Because he's gonna have to find his ground if he's gonna wanna go ahead and take this lead back away from Vinny. Oh, unfortunately, an unsafe bear on shield. He's gonna have to be able to find something. Vinny, interestingly enough, actually air dodges that up B for Mr. E. Oh, grabs that right after that third hit. Of course, knowing that right after that, he's going to be able to go ahead and get in, get that grab to go ahead and try to punish him. Great back air from Mr. E, able to go ahead and capitalize the most off of Vinny's miss of his bouncing fish. Great forward air out of the field. Let's see if both players are just playing at a little bit of a standstill. Looks like Vinny's just trying to go ahead and get some play play a little bit safer because he doesn't really need to risk anything given the position that he's already in. Mr. E just making sure he times that dancing blade just right to make sure he gets all that he needs to be able to get. Great Nair going ahead and covering about three different options right off the ledge. Great ledge traffic happening with Mr. E. Gets the back air, falling back air off of Vinny's aggressive option. Going to go ahead and take the first stock of the game. Let's see if, uh, just like I was saying before, super surprising that it happened. Mr. E is going to be able to go ahead and take the lead of this game. Now Vinny's definitely looking to go ahead and finish things up. Mr. E just trying to capitalize off of that aggression, but unfortunately going to lose his stock in that forward smash from Vinny. And going to go ahead and tie up the game stock-wise, but then closely doing it percentage-wise as well. Both players just at a standstill right now. He's waiting for another one to do something. Oh. Almost catching that forward smash. He's gonna grant some great stage control, and not only that, but a good amount of damage as well. Not quite gonna be able to punish the low. 70 70. Oh my god. This is definitely looking like. An extremely, extremely close set. Leads the air dodge, gets the forward air off of it. It looks like he tried to bounce the pitch right off of the wall to go ahead and try to get that second bounce to hit Mr. E, but of course it's not quite going to happen. Is he looking for that back air once again, able to get the grab right afterwards? Is he going to be able to close out the stock off of this guard? Mr. I mean, uh, Vinny actually getting back to the stage with that down air. Reads the air dodge, not quite going to hit the up smash, though. Ooh, great up B from Mr. E. Catching Vinny right there. Ooh, amazing air dodge. It's like these, both players know exactly what the other player wants. And it's just really a matter of can I stop him or can I not? 
to the bouncing fish, goes for the aggressive one this time, instead of waiting for the air dodge. But this time, Mr. E actually does air dodge. So it's just amazing to see these players in each other's heads. Not quite gonna be able to do it. Ooh, and that's the grab to end the game. Exactly the same grab that Mr. E was looking to get before. Gets a little bit more damage and goes ahead and closes out the stock. Mr. E gonna be up one for the set. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off game two on Final Destination. Uh, Mr. E versus Vinny, of course, again, we're gonna be able to see it. Mr. E's gonna be able to hold this out and actually make sure that he stays ahead for the set. Or let's see if Vinny's gonna be able to turn the tide to battle. Oh my God, that sounded so cheesy. Anyway, let's see if uh, Mr. Vinny's gonna be able to go ahead and turn the tide and actually take the game, making the set extremely close. Let's see what happens. See, that's the thing. Vinny might just have hands, but Vinny's hands are quick. You're not going to be able to just go ahead with your with the sword, and you know. And the crazy part is, it's not the biggest. So Vinny's not. Mr. E's not going to be able to just wave the sword around as much as he wants, because once Vinny gets in, he's in. Oh yeah, of course. Forcing him out of shield right there to go ahead and keep the percent for the Ooh, for the shield breaker. Not quite gonna be able to kill him right there, but definitely a scary position for uh, Mr. E. He's gonna be able to go ahead and get the pivot grab. Ooh, there it is! The dancing blade to stall for the up air. Gonna go ahead and take the stock. Looking a lot like the last game that we saw. Mr. E at 130%. Gonna go ahead and see if he's gonna be able to put that extra damage onto Vinny. I'm definitely going to be able to punish his aggression as well, just like we saw last game. Exactly. You see, that's 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 another thing that we have to take into consideration. Mr. E might not be the character, the, the type of player that dies quickly, but Vinny's definitely the type of player to actually take his time, make sure he doesn't take a lot of damage from anything, really, and just going ahead and, you know, playing that game with his opponent. So, of course, it's going to be an amazing dynamic, as we always see between the two players. Ooh. Just playing an extremely safe game right now. Vinny looking to punish the double jump right there. What is he gonna get off of this grab? Ooh, goes straight for it. Gets the kill from Mr. E. <coughs> Once again. Yeah, he, he honestly, he, his ledge trapping game is just amazing. Just able to keep his player right there as much as he wants. But then he has the mix up to go ahead and get right back in there. To say, you know what, I'm not having this game yet. Relax. But not only that, but he's just amazing, you know? It's like, we, yeah, we see Mars and Lucinas. They have the tools, but we don't really see the tools being used as well as they could be until we see the three. But... Ooh, Vinny almost taking the stock right there, but not quite going to do it. Ooh, good nair right there. Gets the... Tech option reacts. Not quite gonna be even able to go ahead, but he's keeps hitting these soft hit nares. He's looking for a setup. Once again, going for that soft hit nair again. Ooh, forward tilt into up air. Going to go ahead and take the stock, tying up the set between the three and three. That's why it's so interesting to see them interact, because they're both in each other's heads. 
So we're gonna see game three right here on my lag cruise between Mr. G and Vin. Let's see what happens. Winner finals of single. Winner semi, sorry. Ooh, great low jump right there. Very quick, very smooth. Vinny gonna go ahead and bounce right off the wall and say, you know what? He's not doing much to me. I'm probably gonna be able to go ahead and do it. Mr. E actually taking the lead this game. Before, we would always see him having to actually bring it back. But now he's going ahead and just running with the game as much as he can. But Vinny's not saying, listen, Vinny can't just say, you know what, go ahead with the lead, Mr. E. No, Vinny's gonna go ahead and make sure that he competes and shows that, hey, I'm just as equal of a contender. And if not, better. Ooh, great forward smash by Mr. E, taking the first stock, solidifying his lead in the game. Ooh, drag down forward tilt. Gonna go ahead and extend that combo. Ooh, gets the air dodge read. Up smash, gonna go ahead and take the stock right there. Now, it's an even game. It's an even game. Covering the roll. Ooh, well spaced forward here, making sure that he's able to get out of that safety blade, go ahead and get the grab to maximize the damage output. Ooh, I'll be saying, listen, you're not gonna be able to get that string on me again. Ooh, the crouch actually getting him out of the shield breaker. back before Vinny does. Mr. E looking to end the set right there. Ooh. It's really interesting to see what just happened here. Oh, let's see. Not quite gonna do it. Oh, gets the air dodge read. Goes ahead and hits the forward air. He's just waiting for it. Reacting beautifully. Oh my gosh. I mean, every time we see these two 